Hey everybody, it's Beth Gaff with the Peabody Public Library. Welcome back to another session of virtual travels, destinations, and field trips. I am so happy that you're here with us today. Today we're going to be taking a look at Arches National Park. I can't wait to get started. Let's do this. Well, hello there. My name is Beth Gaff and I am the Systems Manager uh, technology trainer and robotics instructor here at the Peabody Public Library. Welcome back to another session of virtual travels, uh, field trips, and destinations. I've kind of combined a couple of different programs into one um, just because I was finding it was easier to do one program instead of several of them. So um, I do have this link provided for you uh, down below in um, not only this particular feed, but I also have it on our website underneath where you would click on this as um, being able to get inside of it. So pretty much everything that you would need if you're a homeschooled mom or perhaps maybe you're just wanting to use this for your classroom is pretty much going to be all in this website. I have found that they have a teacher's guide. Uh, they have a way for you to add things to lesson plans. Um, and we're going to go over all of that as well as the tour and then you can um, decide what's going to be usable for you and uh, perhaps maybe you might even want to alter um, what is being presented to you. So, um, so we're going to visit Na um, Arches National Park. If you've never been there, it is in Utah. Uh, it's a gorgeous location. Um, I have been there. Uh, I I think I was there probably, oh my goodness, oh, it's probably been about 13 years ago, maybe even a little bit longer than that, um, but it was absolutely gorgeous, and I would highly recommend anybody to go check it out. All right, so if this is what the teacher's guide looks like for all of you parents uh, or teachers. So you would be able to um, create field trip notes. Uh, these little links here take you to these sections that are in here. Uh, and this tells you about the recommendations, um, some kind of poster planning, some kind of a uh, paragraph outline, and then of course you could have them write an essay. So there is a nice little um, lesson plan to be learned in here. There are some essential questions. Um, what would it be like to experience Arches National Park up close? So some of the background national parks are the vast, natural, and uniquely beautiful areas around the country that have been protect, protected and preserved by the federal government so we and future generations can enjoy the wonders of nature. Oh, there was a second one. Um, so in this lesson, we're going to learn um, the experience of Arches National Park through a field trip. We're going to learn facts about Arches National Park, uh, and you're going to be able to create an informational poster about National uh, Arches National Park. And that's what the teacher's guide was all about. Um, later on, you'll be able to create a project out of this. So, all right, well, let's explore. So we're going to visit National's, uh, Arches National Park. As we explore, we're going to think about what we notice, what questions come to our mind. Um, and after this field trip, you can record your thoughts in the chart provided. So this is actually entering a virtual reality mode, um, but we can kind of just go around and see what we can see. So these are some of the arches. And they really are absolutely beautiful. Here is another view of those arches. It's almost like being there. Now, the journey to get to the arches is quite high, which means that the elevation um, can get to you, meaning you're losing some of your airflow. So uh, just keep that in mind if you decide to travel here. Here's one of those arches there.
and they definitely have different um, guided hikes that you can take and so forth. Yes, it, it just is simply breathtaking, taking all of these arches in and the scenery. Look how close we are to that. It's just beautiful. So we're going to go back because it's ready for us to go through the chart. And uh, I'm going to see if I can find us a video, but I definitely, let me get out of here real quick. And um, let's see what we can find here. Um, here's a three-minute tour. Grammarly helps you work more efficiently, which makes accomplishing your work goals easier. Arches National Park lies at the very heart of the famed Red Rock Country of southeastern Utah. It covers over 76,000 acres of semi-desert terrain and contains more natural stone arches than any other area of the country. The park road leads the visitor first to an area with sheer walls known as Park Avenue resembling a city street with tall buildings. Southeast of the park, the LaSalle Mountains reach an elevation of over 12,000 feet. Northeast of Park Avenue is the Courthouse Towers. All of the formations in arches are the remains of an ancient mesa that has eroded away, such as the Three Gossips and Sheep Rock. There are countless spires, pinnacles, and rocks of unique form, one of which is Balanced Rock. Its total height is 128 feet, of which the huge Balanced Rock is 55 feet. Marvelous Double Arch is 163 feet in length and 105 feet in height, the second largest arch in the park. Distinctive Turret Arch set amidst the splendid background of the LaSalle Mountains. Here, nature has created two arches side by side. They are the North Window and South Window, collectively referred to as the Spectacles. The Fiery Furnace is a maze of fins, spires, and narrow passageways. It was named for the warm reddish glow of its Entrada sandstone in the late afternoon sun. Skyline Arch rises alongside the main park road. Devil's Garden lies at the end of the park road. Many arches are found in this scenic area, including Broken Arch. At 306 feet, Landscape Arch is the longest arch in the world. Partition Arch. The erosion is a continued process, and eventually, gravity wins out. Wall Arch, located along the popular Devil's Garden Trail, collapsed in August of 2008. The Dark Angel overlooks Salt Valley. Delicate Arch may well be the most famous natural span in the world. Its delicate, rare beauty is reflected in its name that has become the symbol of the park. To some, the park may seem just a land of strange and exotic landforms, but there is much more. Arches is a land of many rare qualities. Okay, well that was just a gorgeous sight. Let's see what else we can see. Let's go back. Um, what is this? So as you can see, I just went into my search engine and I just, this is an event, uh, and I just typed in um, Arches National, oh, that's what we were just on. Uh, now Arches, Arches National Park, and I got a lot of different hits on that. Uh, and now I'm just kind of going in and looking at some more of our options that we may have as far as looking at some of this. Let's. 
National Parks, Wyoming, and Utah. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to our National Park series. Today, we'll continue to look at the national parks in the western region of the United States as we celebrate and explore the unique landforms, ecosystems, and natural beauty of the spectacular national parks in Wyoming and Utah. Let's begin our visit with the most famous of all of Yellowstone's features, the Old Faithful Geyser. The word geyser is typically used to describe any hot spring that ejects a column of steaming water into the air on a periodic basis. Old Faithful is a geyser that has earned its name because you can always predict when it's going to erupt again, and it won't disappoint. You have to stand at a distance to watch Old Faithful in action because you're watching 5,000 gallons of blistering, hot, boiling water shooting straight up into the air. Each eruption lasts anywhere from two to five minutes and is a once in a lifetime experience to behold. Over to the east of Bryce and Zion is our next an equally striking park in Utah called Arches National Park. It is sometimes thought to be the most feature-packed of all of Utah's southern parks. Imagine riding or hiking through a desert complete with hundreds of red, orange, golden arches. All of these arches are made by nature in all of their glorious, high desert sandstone color. As we ride or hike along, we can spot the names of the different arches. See if you can figure out why they were given their names. Here's Delicate Arch, which happens to be the best known arch in the world. Landscape Arch, the largest in the world. And here, the double arch. This one, the double O arch. Tower arch. Cove arch. Eye of the whale arch. Broken arch. Partition arch. Pine tree arch. Tunnel arch. Skyline arch and turret arch. You may be wondering, why are these wonders of nature created exactly? Why exactly here in Utah? It is, after all, the world's highest density of arches. We hope you've been fascinated with our visit to Arches National Park and all the other parks we saw today, and that you enjoy learning how nature created these unique forms. We hope you'll join us again soon as we continue to explore the highlights of the many other national parks across the country. See you then. That was a fun one too. So as you can see, there are a lot of different ones that we could uh, take looks at. I am just picking on a few of them. This is Take a Hike. Let's see what this is. Okay, so this is more Google Earth stuff. So you could actually get on Google Earth and get yourself in there a little better. Okay. Well, uh, let me get back into this. Let me add to my lesson. I don't know what that means. Okay, so evidently this Nearpod has a way that you can get in there 
Um, so if you're a teacher, you can join. So I'm going to go ahead and join. Oops, getting ahead of myself here. Can't be common, okay. Okay. So evidently I can come in here and I can choose different subjects. I can choose different grades. And here we go. Okay, so then I can come in and explore. So this is where I could potentially add my lessons in maybe. Create a lesson. So I have not explored this. So you would have to let me know how it works for you. Um, but you could create your own lessons in this, and that's pretty cool. I'm going to go back to the beginning here. <laughs> it says I just made my first lesson, but uh, I'm going to bookmark this, though, so I don't lose it. There we go. All right, you guys. Well, this is a little bit shorter of a virtual field trip than we've done before um, because a lot of your... Uh, lessons and everything are already built into this where I'm not going to have to give you more of them. So that's kind of exciting. So uh, thank you for being a part of our virtual field trip. Without you, there'd be no reason to have these. So I really, really do appreciate um, the time that you have taken to be a part of this with me. If you have any ideas of uh, virtual field trips that we could do here at the library, um, I would I'm always open for suggestions. Uh, obviously, there's a lot more other national parks that we could go through, but Arches is definitely something that hits me home. Um, let's go in here real quick. Okay, so these are just more visuals, some more pictures. So um, you could just go straight into your search engine and type in uh, Arches National Park, and you're going to get a lot of different hits for a lot of different things. So thanks so much, you guys. Have a great day. Um, whether you're watching this in the morning or you're watching this in the afternoon or the evening, I appreciate you watching it. So thank you so much. Let me know what kind of questions you might have and uh, how I can help you. So thanks again, you guys. See you on the next virtual field trip, travels, and destinations.